loves art. This book is called Bats at the Beach. And this was the first book that Cole actually ever bought at a book fair. So I know I did the zoo library for Connor and this was Cole's. And if we were still in school, we'd be talking about habitats. So this is kind of the closest I can find to habitats that I have at my house. So bats at the beach. If you can see, Cole takes after me. He was a little naughty. He put stickers on his books. <sighs> Goodness. Sun slips down and all is still. And soon we can't tell sky from hell. Now from barn and cave and rafter, bats pour out with shrieks of laughter. You see the bats? They're kind of back here. Oh, right over there. See the little dots? Those are the bats. The rising moon can grow no fatter as sky lights up with gleeful chatter. Quick, call out. Tell all you can reach. The moon is just perfect for bats at the beach. Soon we've got our buckets, trowels, bandos, blankets, books, and towels, straps on backs and under wings. Have we forgotten anything? Launching out into the breeze, we sail above the darkened trees, flying fast to wet our feet where land and foamy ocean meet. See how they're carrying their stuff? At last we hear the deep bass thump as the waves on the seashore crash and bump. Now the shoreline spreads below. We pull our wings in and down we go. How delicious, oh how sweet, to feel warm sand beneath our feet. Quick, set up, spread blankets on sand. We want to get going when fun is at hand. We hurry down to test the ocean. Don't forget the moon and tan lotion. What's the first thing we should do? So many games before the night is through. They're kind of all playing beach games right here. Like playing with the stuff we find, which others have left behind. Bearing friends from chin to knee, where scratchy or no sand should be. Making friends from other places with different foods and different faces. <clears throat> or sailing to terrific heights, taking turns with spinning kites. Little bats dig their sand caves deep as old bats lie and the moon asleep. There's really no more thrilling ride than surfing on a summer tide or sailing in the rainbow races with salty sea spray in our faces. Now it's lunchtime, what's to eat? Baskets grown with yummy treats. Beetles, ants, and milkweed bugs. Crickets, moths, and prickled slugs. Damsel flies or salted skeeters. No room here for picky eaters. Bug millers toast on slender sticks while cousins do their ocean trips. And later on, their stomachs hurt. We'll try the snack bar for dessert. Quick, don't miss it. The old bats are singing the bat songs that they learned when they were first weaning. 
Music rolls on, but no more games as embers pop within the flames. Little ones climb onto a leathery lap, determined to rest, but not to nap. Then east sky purple sun is coming, a last few nights, notes of banjo strumming. Bring our beach night to an end, so say farewell to our newfound friends. Pack our things up, shake the sand out, give the noisy gulls a handout. Quick, let's go, let's fly away. We've got to be home before it's day. That's because bats are nocturnal. Flutter homeward, grained and weary. Small bats doze off, tired and cheery. Daybirds start to chirp and peep. Now back to crack and crevice creep. We sigh and snuggle close to dream about the moony weather. Now sleep, the moon's out of reach. The night was just perfect for bed at the beach. The end, did you? Okay, bye. Love you, miss you, hope to see you soon. Bye, guys.